me. Help me. Help me, Mother. Your mother. Your mother and her people again? Okay, just calm down. Calm down. You are in the house of the Lord. I will surely protect you. The Lord will protect you. It's okay. Calm down. But first of all, you have to get up. We're going to remove all these things. I'll take you to Sister Venetia. Come on, stand up. I'll surely protect you. Okay. Get up, get up. First of all, you have to go and remove all these things. Okay? Come on. Get up. It's okay. You are in the house of the Lord. I'll protect you. Okay? It's okay if you are in the house of the Lord. You have to remove all these things, okay? He who runs into the house of the Lord is well protected. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come on, come on. Let's go. It is obvious. They are the ones that are instigating the suicide. But I will not let them succeed. I am the viper of the spirit. No one toys with the tail of the viper and lives to tell the story. I will give it to them. Thunder. Lightning. Fire! One man. One man. Where are you, one man? One man. One man. One man. Please come. Father, you called. Where is the girl? I couldn't find her in the parish house. Father, I, I don't know where she went to. How do you mean you don't know where she went to? Listen, where could she have gone to? We must make sure her mother doesn't lay hands on her so that they don't subdue her to this their evil worship again. You have to get Machio and Chima to help you look for her. Yes, Father. Uh, do it quickly. Yes, Father.
anything you can search, just search, okay? Did you find her? Ah. So what do we do next? <sighs> okay, fine. Hey, you know what will happen? No. Let's go back to the parish house. We need to report this to the Reverend Father. Alright, so let's go. My prince, there's a girl. Girl? Yeah? Yes, my prince. Oh, stop the car. Stop. <laughs> uh, my prince, this might be a second. Hey! Stop the car. You, you want my to prince. question my others? Go and get me the girl. Get her. Inside. Oh, yes. Move it. Where are you taking me to? Right. You can get to my palace. Your palace. Move. No. Keep quiet. I'm not going to hurt you. I won't harm you. Let's go. know me? I'm the fucking prince of Umani Kingdom. Now, take off those clothes. Take off the clothes, I just want to fuck you. I just want to fuck you. Please. Take it off. Please. I don't want to be hard on you. You want to force me to be hard on you. 
Now let's do the hard work, baby. You're so sweet. You didn't tell me you are. You're a virgin. Gosh, you're so sweet, baby. Um, enjoy the guest room. I would um, see you in the morning. And don't forget, I'll come back in the morning for another round. Uh, this, this is yours. of the experience that you just narrated to me that you had. A very ugly one. But let us just thank God that you are alive after all. And most especially for God saving you from that your barbaric mother and her court. Well, now that you are back, I advise you join the convent that will afford you the opportunity and privilege to serve God the way you have always dreamt of serving Him. It will help you dedicate your life to Him too. What do you think? Anything. Just anything, Father. Anything. Good. That makes things much easier for you and I and all of us. Don't worry. God is in control and he will help you. Okay? Just be calm. <laughs> Mother Rebecca is sure a disciplinarian. Did they hurt not? Unlike Mother Mandali, I hate her girls. It serves you right, Sister Angelica. At least, she's a match for this your strong head. Shut your loud mouth, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. I beg, you both should stop this your cat and rap drama. Not here, not now. Can you please say it loud to this troublemaker? Look at her loud mouth. Please, shut it. Is there enough? What is wrong with her? This is not the first time, nor the second she's been acting strange. I think she has malaria. Malaria? <laughs> malaria indeed. How sure are we that she has malaria? What are you insinuating? <laughs> Please, oh. Sorry, my dear, how are you feeling? She said you have malaria. Malaria indeed.
When hand of God is upon you Mother, I have disappointed you. Mama is a failure. I regret having her as a daughter. Be patient with me. Soon, very soon I will find her. Then I will perform the initiation rituals. Mama. You have disappointed me. Ave, Ave, Ave. of in this morning devotion. Don't tell me others are still sleeping by 6.30 a.m. Sister Mama, I have been watching you for some time recently. And from all the symptoms you are experiencing, it's obvious you are pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, you are pregnant. How did it happen? Who lured you into this mess? Or should I ask, why did you allow yourself to be used? You disappoint me. No matter how much you claim to know the paternity of this child, the Christian community will never accept you having a child out of wedlock. They won't accept it. However, we will go and see the prince so that he can take responsibility for his child. Uh, you said he is the prince of Umwani, right? Okay, we will go and see him. Um, Reverend Timothy, this is complicated because uh, I've not set my eyes on this girl before. And moreover, her people, the people of Alangu, and my people are arch enemies. So I don't see how my son, a prince, will be so close to people of Alam that will resort to his doing such a thing. Uh, for the interest of peace, justice, and for respect for you, anointed man of God, I have to call my son. 
to speak for himself. At least to be fair to all concerned. Dad! Your Majesty. Can bring down the prince. Yes, Your Majesty. You called me father. Uh, this is Father Timothy. And with him is um, Mother Rebecca. Mother Rebecca. They brought the, the other girl here. And she's claiming that you had kind of knowledge of her without her consent. This resulted to pregnancy. What have you to say about it? God forbid. I have never seen or met this girl in my entire life. She must be a liar. How could you say that? How could you? Have you forgotten what happened that night? Enough! Enough, liar! Could you respect father? I don't know this girl, and I've never seen her before. I did no such thing that she's here accusing me of. Father, I wouldn't have this girl walk into my father's palace and accuse me falsely. I demand she leave my presence at once. No, 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 calm down. Calm down, my prince. Uh, I can understand your feelings, and also the implication of what she has just done. But uh, for the respect of the priest of God, you have to be gentle and royal. Hmm. Father Timothy, you can see my son is innocent. Father, you see, she's still a young girl. And the trauma of what she's going through may make her say certain things that may be out of tune with reality. So I would suggest that you take her to a psychologist. Thank you, Your Highness. We will get back to you. Thank you. Considering the fact that the prince himself denied having any relationship with you. Are you sure of what you told me? Father, how can I? How can I say such a thing if I'm not sure? <laughs> this is really complicated, like you said, Father. Well, in the interest of the Daughters of Mary Convent and the Catholic Church, I suggest she is excommunicated to avert the imminent death this could bring on the congregation while the investigation goes on. And we just abandon her like that? Knowing the dangers she will be exposed to, considering her family background? Neither can we jeopardize the image of the Church by compromising on holy principles. Father, what do you expect people out there to say? She must leave us. Mother, please. Father, please, I beg you. Please don't send me away. Please, Mother. I, I don't want to go back to my mother. If not, I'll be forced into idolatry. Please, don't send me away. Please, one man. We cannot do anything right now. The mother church will have to decide. Mother, please. Don't send me away, please. Mother, please, I beg you. Mother, please don't send me away. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Mama. I am very sorry I was unable to help. I tried to convince the Mother Church, but they insisted you would be excommunicated in the interest of holiness in the church. Nevertheless, I want you to have this money. That is money that can take care of some of your needs, the most pressing ones at least. I wish you could have stayed here, but uh, you and I know that it would not be possible. Uh, but be rest assured that you have my support wherever you go. Okay? Thank you, Father. Uh, all right. Uh, I want you to go with the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. excommunicated from the church yesterday. And as it stands now, the church knows nothing about her. But if you want to search the church to be satisfied then, I will oblige you. We are not ready for that. You have caused us much troubles with your involvement with her. But they say we have heard what you said. Where we go? But if we do not find her, Oh, we get a clue that you are the one that is harboring her. We will come back to this place. And if we do, it is going to be war. Big war. War. Big war. Let's go. Let's go to you.
Me and so that I can get to <laughs> this car, the owner of this car will not even bring money safe. So that I will put this car in order. Huh? Hey. So... Hey. so there's somebody inside this car. Come out. I won't harm you. Come out. Come out. Are you and what are you doing here? Come on, sir. I'm... My, na My name is. My name is Wama. Come with me, I won't harm you. Come. Come with me. Your story is quite pathetic. You can stay here as long as you wish. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need any kind of help. My name is Atama. I'm Atama. I'm the owner of this workshop. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Sir, there is another thing. Sir, please. I want to learn this your job. I mean, you should teach me your job. I just I just want to do something that will make me earn money for me and my baby. Please, sir. Give me 12 13 spanner there. This one is not 12 13. How many months have you been here that you will not know that 12 13 is. Ah, that's 17 spanner now. Give me 12 13. What do you think? I said give me 12 13. It's in your hand there. Give it to me. Ah. Give me that 12 13 and give it to me. You will just be looking at the thing like that. You will not know to. It's 12 13, so you are give it to me. Uh -uh. For how many months have you been here? You will not know 112 13. Uh -uh. Hold that side for me so that when I'm losing this place, keep your hand there. Uh -huh. Hold it to. So that when I'm losing this place, then. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay. I've tied. Go and start the motor for me. Let me see if it's working well. Press the tattoo, small, small. Don't raise it very well, oh. Uh, so that I'll be listening if it's okay.
My daughter. Ma. Who are you and where are you from? My name is Wama. I'm from Alangu village. Alangu village? Our neighboring town? Yes, ma. And why are you here doing this kind of job in this condition? My daughter, make me to understand. Whatever the reason may be, it's not what it is. Not a man like you really? should be in a better place and not under distress. My child, I've made up my mind to help you. Please, come with me. Please come with me. I was once a mother. I've been under distress. I know what you're passing through. My child, I can understand. Just come, let's go. So, like I was saying, when I lost my husband and my only daughter, I felt the same way you felt for all that you have told me that you passed through. But you know what keeps me going? Hope and faith in God. You are humble, God fearing, and a hard working woman. But you have only one thing to go on. With faith, all your dreams will surely come true. Amen. Thank you, Ma. You are welcome, my child. Thank you for everything, especially for providing me with, with shelter. It's okay. Thank you. And God bless you. Amen. I'm sorry for your late husband and daughter. I believe God knows the best. And He will never let you down. Thank you. I feel belonging. I believe God sent you to come and console me. Very yeah, God sent. Thank you, my child. I'm flattered, ma. No, you don't have to be. That is the truth. Thank you so much. Okay. Take your water. Let me take you inside so I can clean you up. Hey, let's go. I can carry it. Don't worry. My child, three months into this sickness, 
with no solution. It's obvious. It's obvious that it's not ordinary. Please help me. Don't you think it's time to seek for extraordinary solution? Extraordinary power. I don't understand what you're talking about. Please take me to a native doctor for healing. Native doctor? Yes. You are not going to meet any native doctor. Hmm. Have faith. Have faith because I believe that the true living God that I serve will surely heal you. Um, my child. You and this your God every time. Do you want me to die? God forbid. Please. Take me to that native doctor. For quick recovery, I beg you. Pico. Fine. Let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God everlasting King of glory. The I am that I am the only potent in the science. The ancient of this. The Alpha and the Omega. The King of Kings. Lord, we say thank you. For the many which has come to the Father for the in the but everything in this body that's not of you, but that God will delete it from her in the name of Jesus. Amen. But if I am your servant and you love me as much as I love you, heal her. Amen. Heal her in the name of Jesus. I was there, flesh and blood. The girl is highly gifted with spiritual power. <laughs> my sister, I don't know what else to do. Eh? My son is going down, his health is going down by the day. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should just take my son there. My dear, you better do. Take your son there. But wait, how did she even get her powers? <laughs> no need for that question. God blesses people with different gifts. She's not the first, neither will she be the last. Just have faith in God. Take your son there. Okay, if you say so, I will take my son there. No problem. But, wait, oh, this is your market. Eh? They are nice, though, but I don't like white. Oh. See this one? Uh -uh. Give me black, bring black. Sick for a while now, please help me. I don't want him to die. Heal me, please. Heal him? <laughs> but how can I heal him? I don't have the power to do that. Only God has. <laughs> Fine. Let's pray for him. My help. So 
something that makes me come into your presence. My helper, my helper, oh, my helper, my helper, hey, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord. You said ask and it shall be given unto you. Father, your son has been brought unto you, O Lord. Father. You are an old man that walketh without walking stick. You are the ancient of days. The I am that I am. The omnipotent omnipotent science. Father, whatever thing that is in this body that is not of you, oh Lord, we cast it out this moment in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father God, send your power of healing. Send your power of healing in the life of this young boy. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Heal him, oh Lord. Heal him. For in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Greeting is the one, the favored one of the gods. I greet you. May your do bless you, you Ojugo. To what do I owe this visit? Is the one. Some days ago, I traveled to Obiago for my usual trade. On getting there, I heard of a healer who heals sick people mysteriously. Then I came back home and discussed with my husband about my sick daughter. We decided to take my sick daughter to the place for healing. On getting there today is a wine. Behold, the healer turns out to be your missing daughter, Mama. Are you sure? Is a wine. Very certain.
You were here earlier, earlier today to see my daughter. Yes. For the healing of your sick daughter. Yes. Your daughter? That child is mine. I have come to take her. Where is she? May I know who you are? I am the great priestess of Yodo in Alango. That child is my daughter and I have come to take her immediately. I don't know where she has gone to. Liar! Oh my Kamba! Is the one. Go in there, search for her and bring her to me. Is she there? I've searched everywhere, she's not there. She's not at the back end. I've searched everywhere. So what do we do now? Let's go and inform Ezra. Ezra, Speak! She's not here. We've searched everywhere. Ah! Ah! I strangled you and feed your flesh to ah! the water. I can see the beast of the mother that you are. No wonder she has been running away from you. Where is she? You dare to defy me! You dare to defy me! Now you must take me to where I will find her! Oh my camera! Is it mine? Bring her along! Baby crying in the bush. It sounds like a new baby. What is going on?
Chief will do you no good. Now tell me, where is my daughter? I swear. Where is she? I don't know. You lie. Where is my daughter? I don't know. Nama. Nama. What is it? Nama. I'm on. I was on my way to gather firewood when I saw one man. Where? In the bush. Take us there. Now you bring her along. Hurry!
Sit down. I've asked you this before. The moment you came in, you refused to talk to me. Who is the owner of the baby that you brought home? Obidia, I did not answer you because everything about her is still a mystery to me. Mr. Epa, baby. Yes. You see, my hunting adventure in Obiago today was the strangest. I, I ran into this helpless girl. She begged me to carry the baby and run away. She said she doesn't want anybody to see her. Obidia, the, the way I looked at her, she was in a big trouble. Who did she tell you she is? Look at your hand. See it. Despite all the efforts I made, she refused to tell me who she is. What do we do with this baby? It is unfortunate that the priestess of Iyodo ended up in a sadly and shameful way, dying in an unsuccessful labor. More sadly, defying herself when she is meant to remain a virgin to death. We are going to remove that unfortunate unborn child from her womb before she is deposited in the evil forest. Because it is a taboo for a woman with a child or a seed in her to be buried in the evil forest. The child will not be buried. It is also cursed. A child that has been born by a cursed person who shamelessly defiled herself is also cursed. Both will be thrown into the evil forest. Where evil things belong. Um, youths, it's your yeah, yeah. come and take this corpse and dump her in the evil forest. I should have known that she was the missing Iodos priestess in waiting. If not for my long sojourn in Amansi because of my wife's barrenness. What do I do with child now? Take her to the priestess? No, she will be put to death and thrown into the evil forest like her mother, according to tradition. No wonder she begged me to run away with the child. I have to save the child. But won't Goddess Iodo be angry with me? Akuma, don't consider all this. You are only saving a life and also having the only privilege of being a father. What happened? Should I tell Obidia my wife? No, I don't need to tell her about this. Let it remain the way we've accepted it. A woman cannot be trusted with such a high confidential secret. My husband. 
Obi there, you are here. Has it been long you are here? No. But long enough to know that something is eating you up deep inside. Well, talk to me. Let us share this burden. I am your wife. No, it's not something serious. I was just thinking about the money Odogu is owing me for the bush meat I supplied to him last week. I, I don't know how to get the money from him. Just that. Just that. Nothing more. You don't have to worry about that. Odogu is a man of integrity. I know that he's going to pay you your money. You know, go. He will definitely pay you this money. So you don't have to worry yourself. Can we go to bed? I've made the baby go to sleep. Oh, hey, that's good of you. You see, uh, I'm very happy to have you as my wife, Obi dear. <laughs> ah, you are really taking care of the baby. My dear, you're right. So when you told me that this baby is a gift from the gods, imagine me, a barren woman. Having this kind of gift from the gods, putting laughter in my face again. <laughs> I'm so grateful to the oh, gods. May the gods be praised. <laughs> and me? Let's go and sleep for Bidia. <laughs> It's as familiar as the aroma of my mother's onobu soup. And the sweet sound of your voice is as charming as your innocent beauty. Can you stop flattering me? Does a man flatter an angel? Angel. 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 Where is the angel? I can't see any angel alone. She's standing before me, cloud in the suits of a hunter. Your way with words and the way you stare at me are strange, yet irresistible. And it's as sweet as your companionship. So, you tried at this long distance to the jungle just to see me instead of waiting for me to return. If treading the long distance to Amosu Forest will lead me to your presence, then I am ready to trek all the days of my life. <laughs> really? Can I make a request? The choice is yours. And my dear hunter, please give me some attention. Don't ask me to leave my hunting today for you again. Because I won't. I am only asking we go swimming together. So that tomorrow you continue hunting for your radiant and antelopes. Hmm. And what makes you think you can convince me? Huh? convince you as long as I can look into your eyes Mama Mama Ah Mama Ah Mama my daughter you and this your auntie Eh Mama Mama forget you are a girl Oh Mama go go one and get Mama if papa inside Papa my daughter, you want to get hunting? Yeah. I told you that hunting is not for women, it's for men. Papa, you see how those skills you've been teaching me? 
all those skills have been screwing all of them in my brain. And now that your veins are too weak to carry this damn gun <coughs> to kill an animal, <coughs> don't worry. When you have a daughter like a mama, she will help you carry it. Like father, like daughter. Or should I say like father, like son? <laughs> yeah, not it's not indeed like father, like, like daughter. daughter. <laughs> you never cease to remind me of your mother. Mm. Same beauty, but different in strength. Because you have the strength of a man. They're just different. It's different. Strength. I have it more. Yes. Maybe she's lying. Because of the problem my late father had with my uncle, he struck me with epilepsy. Since I was a little boy, and ever since then, I've been suffering with it. Please help me. Help me. You. What is your own problem? At my age, 24, my menstrual cycle stopped. My fiancé said he would never get married to me again. My parents threatened to send me out that I may cost to the family. Jesus. Jesus Christ. let me pray for you. Oneguzo sike, okuya di we di ebube, ona wondoria. Okuya di we di ebube, oneguzo sike, okuya di we di ebube, ona wondoria. Okuya di we di ebube, oneguzo sike, oneguzo sike, okuya di. Get up. The Lord just told me that you should immerse yourself in the water. And when you do that, you will be free. Now go. Go with faith. Go. Get up. Just go and thank the Lord. Get up. Thank you. Don't forget. Jesus is the mama. On a digi day. Chukuji ya wena emema. Chukuji ya wena tabu. Ogori si wanguro. Omero yomi kuoku. Daughter of Zion, you are yet to make use of the gifts given to you by the Most High God for the purpose you were destined for. Purpose? What purpose are you talking about? The assignment ahead of you is greater than you can imagine. The battle of light and darkness. A mission 
which your late mother would have accomplished. My late mother? What are you saying? My mother is still alive and she is at home. It shall be revealed to you in due course, daughter of Zion. You are strange. So are your words. Who are you? Who are you? I am a messenger of the Most High God. Only these words am I permitted to say to you for now. But like I said, the true meaning of these words shall be revealed to you at the appointed time. When? When? Always. Always look up for the signs, daughter of Zion. Always. Where are you? Where are you? from sleep. Is it the train? Yes, to a child. Then stop asking me that question every time you wake up from your strange dream. I think you have severe fever and need some drugs to calm your nerves. Do you think so? Let me take you to your room so you can sleep properly, okay? Girl, that is the mysterious girl. Hmm. That evil reincarnation with your son and maker. That boy is a disgrace. Onka, hmm? do you know how many times I have warned that boy to stop running after that girl? That boy is daring me. He is daring me. Oh, not you. Do you know that what amazes me most is how this girl came to life all of a sudden? Eh? And come to think of it, the evil bird reincarnated from the womb of Obidia, oh. Akuma's 
wife. Uh -huh. A woman that has been barren all this while for so many years. You see? Can I imagine? That is an indication that that girl is evil. Yes, of course. She is a cursed child to this land. Yes. Can you see? You see, what marvels me most is that you do let this kind of thing to happen. How can a girl who defied Iyodo's calling chose to die and was thrown into the evil forest reincarnate with such irritating gods and powers? Eh? It's a mystery. But, Onoche, please let us hasten up and consult the Ezemai before she brings perdition to this land. We will do that. We will meet with all other elders. I think so. But first, let me go home and handle that stupid boy. That stubborn idiot. Yes, but be cautious, sir. Be cautious. You hear me? See Obina. Liar. The maker, liar. Liar you are. How long will I continue to warn you to stop going after that girl? And you won't hear a maker. A maker, you won't hear me. A maker, you won't hear me. Your father, you won't hear me. Rubbish. What is even wrong? Making friends with that girl. What is wrong with it? Eh? Turn the fire. Touch your lips. I, 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 I dodge it. You dodge what? I dodge thunder. You do You dodge thunder. It's alright. Dodge thunder. Come on. You go thunder. No. Idiot. What is wrong with you? No, remember you are not all those. Stop casting photos with you. Idiot. The maker. Let me see you with that girl again. I will show you what a father does to his son. Stupid. That is bad. 
Where are they hurrying to? To the river. For what? I heard there's a powerful young girl who heals people by the riverside. They call her the Miracle Worker. And they claim that as long as she sings out the river, everyone who touches the water or drinks from the water gets healed instantly. Impossible. Who dares challenge Yodo? And you did not tell me. I'm sorry, is why? She needs to be confronted. That is impossible. Her body was buried in the evil forest as a cursed person. There's no way she can reincarnate. I saw her with my two naked eyes. Yes. Flesh and blood. Yeah, yes. Huh? The, the worst is that she's winning the heart of our people. Yes. They now sing the song of her glory. Huh? Them following the path of our tradition. Yes. Uh, even our gods. She has deceived them into following her path in the past. The, the so-called uh, Christianity. Huh? That is it. Please. Do something very urgently to stop her influence before it is too late. Please. I am not convinced. Eh? Eh? Uh, but eh, eh, eh. I will take no action until I am convinced. It is true. How may I help you? Who are you, evil one? Evil one? Why would you call me an evil one? I am not an evil one. My name is Amuma, the daughter of Akuma, the great hunter. Liar! Show yourself and stop deceiving my people with the body of my late daughter. Your late daughter's body? I don't understand what you're talking about. Whoever you are, or whatever you are, you will not deceive me with your gullible games. I am Ezawani. The great priestess of Iyodo. The only one that understands the language of the thunder and sees beyond the seven colors of the rainbow. I warn you. Flee my land. Leave your land. This is my father's land too. 
I can see you are a stubborn one. I would leave you today. But I warn you, if I come back here and I find you, you will feel the strength of Yodo. Yodo! Your power is above every other power. Heal him in Jesus' name. His Lord is yes, yes and amen. His word is forever. His word can never change. His word must surely come to pass in your life. His word heals the sea. Praise to death, said he cast his free. The word of God. Why did she confront you with such animosity? And what did you do to her? That she have to strike me down like that? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. See, the fact that she's the goddess of Iudo does not give her the right to talk to you like that or confront you like that. I pray she does not try it next time with you because she will have me to face. It's okay, Amy. Let her be. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for making my troubles your worries. Thank you. You are such a vulnerable, kind, and peaceful young girl. I have helped so many lives in this village with your powers from God. You sure deserve my love and care as an appreciation for your hard work. Thank you. But I wish, I wish the elders and Ezewai would feel the same way about me rather than see me as, as an evil child. Forget about their empty traits. Don't be afraid of them. See, just forget about the little thing that happened here now. I will fight for you with my last blood. I'm not scared of anybody. Trust me. His word is yes, yes and amen. His word is forever. His word can never change. His word must surely come to pass in your life. His word heals the sick. Rest to death, said he cast his free. The word you of do. Mother! Who is she? Show her to me. a stupid mother. She's a cursed child. How could I? How could I have been fooled? She must die. She must die.
Welcome to my humble home, Priestess of Iodo. To what do I owe this visit? Not another word from you. You treacherous man. Why did you say that? I don't understand what you are talking about. You hypocrite. You forget that I see beyond the ordinary. You saved her from her mother, from the evil forest of Obiago. Now, she must die. No, no. You dare not touch my daughter. She is not your daughter. And I don't see yours. Mama, Papa, what are you people hiding from me? Eh? What uh, is uh, it? I will explain to you later. There is no later. She dies now. No, you dare not have my daughter. Save my life as else. She is all I have. Don't be ridiculous, you barren woman. Get away from her. No, I won't do that. Kill me instead of my daughter. Then I start with you first. What you did? What you did? Mama. Now your turn. I will be back for you. Oh my come back. Is it why? Let's move. That was how I took you. After your mother gave birth to you, that fateful day. Sooner than later, I came to understand who you truly are. You are the child of the goddess. Yet we adopted you as our own child. Since my wife was barren, little did I know that that decision we need to untimely the death of Obidia, my wife. <laughs> Papa. Mm. Papa, you have to be strong. You have to be strong. You still have me. Please, tell me about my mother. As a woman, it's your grandmother. When she gave birth to your mother, Waima, she was dedicated to Iodu to succeed your grandmother as the next priestess of Iodu. When she grew, she took to another path. She took the path of Christianity, just like you. She was so dedicated, just like you are today. Uh, when it's time for her initiation, to succeed your grandmother, she ran away and finds solace in the church. As a man and all the elders searched for her, they couldn't find her. Neither did anyone from Alam know her whereabouts. Till the day I met her in labor in the forest. That day you were born. Everybody believed you died in the womb. Except me. I kept it to myself. Knowing that according to tradition, I had to death. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. You don't have to thank me. It's your destiny. You're a child of the goddess. That was why. I was not marveled at the strange powers you possess. No. I am not a child of any dead god. I am the child of the living god, Jehovah. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. But we must be careful. As the one will not give up until she has your 
corpse thrown into the forest. You may have to run away. Run away? Yes. But I can't leave you in this condition. I won't go anywhere. The God that I serve will surely protect me. I like your faith. But like I said, be careful. As a man sword. I had what happened. That is the reason why I came here to sympathize with you. Please. Please. You have to take heart. God knows why everything happened. It is the will of God. Okay? It is the will of God. It is the will of God that I lost her in such a painful way. Is it the will of God? Is it? Yes, yeah, see, I understand. I understand. But God knows why, okay? Please stop crying. Stop crying. Okay. Wipe the tears. Yes! Yes! That is the idiot who wants to follow the corpse into the grave. Look at him. I have warned you several times never to go along with this girl again. Don't go, don't perch around this girl again. She is an evil girl. Cost child, my son. Don't go after her anymore. I have warned you. Mama, she's not cost. She's not cost. Leave her alone. What? Oh, so you have the guts to challenge me? Now, boys. Bundle that boy! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Papa! What? What? I said! Take him! Leave me alone! Yes, what is it? What is the matter? And what are you doing in my house what? with these boys? What is not the matter? I have come to warn you to talk to your daughter. I don't want to see your daughter with my son anymore. She is a cost child. Leave my house. To leave your house? I said, leave my house! You are ordering me out of your house. Who are you? How dare you come to my house to insult you? Are you out of your mind? I'm asking you, are you out of your mind? You are I'm out of you. your mind. You are out of your mind. You are. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I just get out of my house. Hey! Take your useless son and get out of my house. You boys. Hey. Uh, bundle him. Pick at each other. Hey. Hey. Please help me bury my wife. Please. Please, our culture demands that our kinsmen will help his fellow kinsmen to bury his dead. Please help me to bury my wife, please. You hear me very well. We are sons. We cannot grant your request. Please, why? Why? Because there is no member of our kinsmen who shall have a hand in the burial of your late wife because of the circumstances surrounding her death. In our tradition, Anyone struck by Iodo has unclean hands. Therefore, the person must be thrown into, into the, the evil forest. forest. Don't do this to me. Let's go. Let's go. Please don't do this to me, please. Before they break. Did I brought her home? Who be there convinced me that the best way to hide Amuma's true identity from her people was for us to go back to my maternal home, where we had returned from two weeks to her bed. Wise advice, it turned out to be what caused God's own misfortune, made me to decide to return to Alangu with my family. I still cannot say what is my gain in insisting that we return to the land of my birth. 
for that cost decision. My wife is now dead and tragically too. Her mama's life is being totally destabilized and mine filled with sadness and confusion. What do I do now? God, help me. Help me, oh God, and help Amuma too. In this case, who do I blame? Who do I blame? Should I blame men or the cruel hands of tradition? Blame me. Blame me, Papa. I am to be blamed for this. For all this. All this is happening because of me. My daughter, it is not your fault. Faith sometimes is unfair. All we need to do is to accept the challenges with faith, hope, and tenacity. Okay? So now, now, what do we do? Desperate situation calls for a desperate approach. We must apply the choice left here.
This morning with Obiara. He suddenly fell sick this morning, so I'm taking him to a major river for healing. God forbid. God forbid. How can you say such a thing? How many times will I warn you not to associate with that girl again? How many times? I have told you that that girl is a cause and abuse of our tradition. Does a cost person bring blessing and healing to people? I should be asking you that. Isn't it obvious that she's a blessing, not a cause to people? Shut up that your mouth! Shut up! Do you want to invoke the wrath of Iyodo on us? I have warned you several times. That girl is evil. She is an evil incarnate. Mamo Biora, stop associating with her. Stop! I won't. Eh? I won't. Do you want to challenge my order? Why have you, pagans and as and why, failed to see that girl as a blessing from God Almighty Jehovah? Don't ever mention that name again in this house. Iyodo is our goddess. She is the Almighty. I will go. Eh? You will go? You are going nowhere. I will go. Come back here. I will go. with your impurities and bewitch my people with your blasphemy. Bewitch, you say? I did not bewitch them. They made the right choice and chose the right path, which is light and the truth. Right? Yes. 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 Cowards, all of you, you dare to turn your back on your goddess. Yodo, and follow this, this evil incarnate. She is not evil. Yes, she heals the sick. You had better go, all of you, go home before you incur the wrath of Yodo. No, 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 we, we are, are not leaving. leaving. You dare, you dare to challenge me. You miscreants dare to challenge me. All of you will die. I don't know where your powers come from. But they are not greater than Yodo. Twice! You have been protected. I will come back the third time. And when I do, I will take your soul. Iyodo! Iyodo! This world is yes. Yes and amen. His word is forever. His word can never change. His word must surely come to pass in your life. His word heals the sick, raises the dead, set the captives free. The word of God is true. The word of God is life. The word of God is joy. The word of God is peace. Receive it and receive life. Receive it and see light. For when the light of God shines upon you, your life will change. His word is not the words of men. 
This world is this world. I need no come to pass. Only believe, only trust, only give it all seeking. Oh, we are giving it to me. Oh, name me, yes, baby. You have to go. I know it's the one very well. She must surely return as she threatened. Save your life and that of your innocent followers that have become victims of her wrath. Please, if you love me, do this for me. Papa, where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? Eh? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Please. I want you to go to Amasi, my maternal home. I spent the better part of my life there. Good people. And I'm sure they will take care of you. Please. Everything that is going on. Just that I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you too. Anywhere you go to, I promise I'll come for you. Thank you. Please take good care of yourself. of Zion, the time is right. For what? To make use of your powers for the purpose it was given you. Purpose? What purpose are you talking about? To fight and conquer evil in this land and redeem your people from the claws of darkness. 
I am just a vulnerable young girl. How do you expect me to undertake that task? Do not be afraid, for I will be with you. But you must go back and you must remain in the church for 14 days and 14 nights to prepare yourself for the battle ahead. Go back, daughter of Zion. Go! Asking. She has gone far away. You can't find her. You dead me once again. You ran the he goat. Where are you hiding her? Where has she gone to? I will not tell you. Take my life if you wish. Huh? With all pleasure. But I will tell you something. No matter what. I will find her. You won't. Rest in peace. Oh my, Kamba. Yes, your mind. Let's go. Here. 
time for redemption. Only you can save so many others from her plague. Go and prepare for the battle ahead. Go! is heavy with you. Isn't it wise you share it with me? Oh, come on, daughter, talk to me. Father, don't worry. 
Don't worry, my daughter. I'm a patient listener. Okay? The battle of light and darkness is not an easy one. But I know one thing. The Lord who has specially chosen you among his other servants will see you through. Amen. Okay? Come. Let's go to the chapel. Let me commit you into the hands of our mother Mary and his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord and personal Savior. Okay? It's well with you.
There is an old man that lives in your compound. When you're entering the compound, he lives by the right hand side. Yes, that is true. He is fair in complexion. Yes, that is true. Anytime you see him, you greet him. Yes, that is true. And then he always asks you to shake his hands. Yes, that is true. It's not an ordinary one. He uses them to manipulate you. He has destroyed your destiny. And for that reason, you are failed in everything you do. You have never been successful. Right? Yes, that is true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you all to lay your hands on this young man. Pray for him. I cast you out of this body in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My daughter, the battle ahead is a fierce war. You are about to liberate the whole community of our land from the bondage of the evil one. But do not be afraid. For the Lord is with you. He who walks with the Lord will triumph. Because it is written. For even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Oh, thou shalt trample upon serpent and scorpion. Nothing will hurt you. Like I said before, do not be afraid. Be courageous. For he that is in you is greater than he that is with him. Come on, let's commit this battle into the hands of God. So early. I want to. No, see, yeah. Just relax. You see, I believe God Almighty will see us through this period of time. Mm -hmm. This is just the second day out of the seven days mm -hmm. that uh, we just started this fasting and prayers. 
And I believe God Almighty will see us through Amen. this time around. Amen. Just relax. I trust God that we serve. Hmm? Amen. <laughs> 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 so, well. Okay. Hmm? Okay. What is it? What is it? Come. Hmm? Yeah. Are you okay? Come. Yeah. Are you? Mm -hmm. Not my waist. Your waist. Mm -hmm. waist. Mm -hmm. My lady. Sorry. Rob my baby! Sorry. Sorry. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. Sorry. It's like, Sorry. It's like the baby is coming. Baby? <laughs> Serious? Yeah.
This tree. The villagers always gather here to make their decisions. All the evil that has been manipulating this village dwells in this tree. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will never be able to do this. 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 We will never be How dare you? How dare you challenge the Yodu? Something that no one born of woman has ever done. Except the one born of the Holy Spirit. And see, I can see that that tiny power you got from wherever has given you gods. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, he could beg your daughter. The cockroach that threats on the part of the elephant must surely be crushed by the feet of the elephant. Crush you. Feed your soul. Body to the vultures. Hmm. Yes, my Lord told me. But I shouldn't be afraid of those that can only destroy the body, but can't destroy the soul. Yes. So I tell you, they are not scared of your empty threat. Yes. yes. What is it? No one, Baba. No one? No one. And then why were you running like a child who saw Omagba masquerade? Baba, what I saw is more than Omagba masquerade. It's more than. Baba, I saw the Ezewaya in a very serious scratch. Very serious with uh, the Amuma, the Wonder Girl. I saw them at the village square. Wait. Are you very sure of what you're saying? Hmm. I said I'm very certain. I saw them with my two koro koro eyes. Two koro koro eyes. I saw them. You saw them? I saw them. Huh? Yeah. I saw them. Let us go and see ourselves. We need waiting. Let's go. Let's go and see. Let us go. Jesus, Jesus, your blood shall be sacrificed to your door mm. for the atrocities you committed in this kingdom. And for the lies you told our people that made them turn away from their God. Oh, Jesus, 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 in a couple of days. <laughs> I will make sure your body rots. 
is only one God. One true God. Yes. Jehovah. Yes. Adonai yes. and Elohim. Yes. And he has given these people what your dead God cannot give them. Yes. Healing. Yes. yes. Salvation. Yes. And soon he will give them total liberation from you and your worthless God. Yes. Oh, I will make sure your body rots in the evil forest. The power your daughter, Jesus. It's Jesus. He could beg your daughter. Just like you did to your own daughter. Tell me, don't you have value for human life? Don't you have conscience for your own blood that you swore to destroy just for your selfish God? What Empower your daughter the in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you said you will fight my fight and I shall hold my peace. And again you said that they shall gather and in the garden is not of you. Whosoever shall rise up against you for yourself they shall fall and behold they have risen up against me Father for my sake they shall scatter in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Thank you, 
When hand of God is upon you Andi kwa kachi e chibega Iyu kwe mebega mama mo Christ, for thou shalt not bow for any man or any other God yes, except Jehovah. Yes, Lord. El Shaddai, yes. Adonai, yes. and Elohim. Yes. I know you might be wondering how a daughter of a common hunter was able to defeat your Almighty is a why. But I have a revelation that will shock all of you. I am not the daughter of Akuma. Yay! Mama. Neither am I. An evil reincarnation as most of you believe. Huh? And who are you? I am. I am the daughter of. The daughter of Wama. Yeah! I heard I have a resemblance. She gave birth to me before she died, which no one knows, entrusted me to Akuma, who brought me up. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. She was a woman. Gifted by God, born for the same purpose that I have accomplished here today. But the claws of the evil one could not let her fulfill that task. And God finally brought me. He brought me to her to accomplish that mission. Let us praise God. Let's praise God. Let us praise God. And I hope praise. What is it again now? What, what are you doing here? I, have you come here to embarrass me again? Or, or to no, not at all. I have come in peace. 
not with troubles. My daughter, please, forgive me, Biko Wam. I'm on my knees. Forgive me, my daughter. Eh? I never knew that it is just this way. Please forgive me. I was blindfolded like other men and thought that you are an evil child. Please, I can now see the handiwork of God. How he evil did some wonderful things through you. I can now realize it. I am convinced that he is an almighty God. Please forgive me. Bikon one, Bikon. My son, please forgive me. Get up. Hi. Do I get up? Um, get up. Hi, my son. Hi. 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 I am not worthy to forgive you or anyone else for their sins. Only God can. I pray, I pray that God, who is merciful, slow to anger and abundant in mercy, should forgive you. Amen, oh. Amen. Hey, my son, you forgive me too, please. When the hand of God is upon you. Your Majesty. Good day. How may I help you, sir? I am the king of Omani Kingdom. Oh, you are welcome. I am looking for one Father Timothy. Oh, Father Timothy. He has been transferred to transferred? another parish. Yes, sir. How do I locate him? It's very important. Okay, just a minute. Let me speak to the parish Please. priest. When hand of God is upon you. Not very, Father Anthony. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> How is everything? Ah, bless God and give him glory. Yes, so, Father. What brings you to my parish? Oh, 
Father, it is well. It is well. It's just that I'm, there is an issue. I hope all is well. Yes. It is just that I'm an issue right like now. You have some visitors. Okay. Bring them in. Bring them in. Hands of God upon you. We challenge you. Like I said, this is Igwe. Father, thank you very much. I am Igwe Dogu, the third of Omo and the Kingdom. And that is my own door. Hello, welcome. You're welcome. Um, Your Highness, so what can I do for you? I know you must have forgotten me. Like I said, I am the Igodogu, the third of Omani Kingdom. And that is my no. I was formerly known to you as Prince Emenike of Omani Kingdom. Many years ago, precisely 17 years ago, you came to the palace with a young girl who says she was pregnant for me. That is why I am here. I want to see that lady. I am getting old. And it will be a great shame if I die childless. That is why I have come to place and need your assistance. Timothy, this is complicated because uh, I've not set my eyes on this girl before. And moreover, her people, the people of Alangu, and my people are arch enemies. So I don't see how my son, a prince, will be so close to people of Alangu that it will resort to his doing such a thing. Uh, for the interest of peace, justice and for respect for you anointed man of God I have to call my son to speak for himself at least to be fair to all concerned dad your majesty can bring down the prince yes your majesty Call me father. Uh, this is Father Timothy. And with him is um, Mother Rebecca. Mother Rebecca. They brought the, the other girl here. And she's claiming that you had kind of knowledge of her without her consent. This resulted to pregnancy. What have you to say about that? God forbid. I have never seen or met this girl in my entire life. She must be alive. How could you say that? How could you? Have you forgotten what happened that day? Enough! Enough, liar! We 
due respect, Father. I don't know this girl. And I've never seen her before. I did no such thing that she's here accusing me of. Father, I won't have this girl walk into my father's palace and accuse me falsely. I demand she leave my presence at once. No, no, no. Calm down. Calm down, my prince. Uh, I can understand your feelings. And also the implication of what she has just done. But uh, for the respect of the priest of God, you have to be gentle and royal. Hmm. Father Timothy, you can, can see my son is innocent. Father, you see, she's still a young girl. And the trauma of what she's going through may make her say certain things that may be out of tune with reality. So I would suggest that you take her to a psychologist. Thank you, Your Highness. We will get back to you. Thank you. Your Highness, the young lady you are searching for is late. My ancestors. And the baby? The baby is alive and well. She lives as an adopted child of a couple in Alangu. Only her father and I know her true story. Until recently. What? Father Timothy? In Alangu? Yes. She's Sister Amuma. Jesus Christ. The one Jesus. that runs the Ministry of Helps in uh, Alamo. I'm talking about. That's the girl that protected her 17 years ago. That's the girl. Your Highness. Father. That's the daughter. Daughter? Yes. In yes. 17 years now, you don't expect her to be the same. There's no difference at all. Perfect resemblance. <laughs> you can say that again. Even people here. They believe she reincarnated. It's wonderful. Uh, until now, that's what they believe. Wow. Your Highness, please excuse me, I'll be back. Okay, please do. Day, father wow i can see it's indeed progressing fine. welcome to the ministry how are you i'm fine i can see that <laughs> you're looking good <sighs> something came up what's it father Your father is there to see you.
My father. That's your father. How can you deny your own blood? My daughter, I was so young and full of exuberance. Please forgive me. I will make things up. Make it up. Make it up. It is too late. It is too late because I have moved on. Father, Timothy, my daughter, hey, please. please sit. My daughter, sit down. Sit down. was very close to your mother just as father Anthony is close to you now I was there when it all happened there's one thing I would like to tell you everything happened for a purpose and that purpose only the almighty God knows so please Find a place in your heart to forgive him, despite all that has happened. He is still your father, your blood. Please, my daughter, forgive him, so that at least we can be free in our heart to worship the only true God. Please forgive him. Come, it's okay. Please.
Ni bebe cuando 